What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to make a custom PC handbrake out of just these three things here. So stay tuned. Alright, so as you can see here, there's, there's a lot of videos on YouTube about how to make handbrakes. But none of them are super easy. They all want you to have this type of handbrake here. And those are on eBay for like 40 or 50 bucks or something. And they're all metal, which is great. But then you're left with no way to really mount it unless you've got a sim rig to mount it to. Or you want to permanently mount it to your table. But, you know, there's tons of options. So now I'm going to show you a, a cheap and easy option. So here's the prices. The joystick, 1942 the hand guards 1140 and the poly plastics moldable plastics 1395 all right so all you're going to need for this basically is a phillips screwdriver if you don't have a 3d printer like i'm going to be using you will need a craft knife and some thin plastic just you could even like possibly use the cap off it if, it, if it's big enough uh, something like this flat flat plastic and you can just drill the four holes and mark them uh, basically i have a 3d printer over here and that's what I'm going to be using. I will design a part here on the computer and then I will print it up. And it's basically going to be a plate that screws down right here and allows this joystick to go just front, forward, and backward. Uh, and, and it'll eliminate some of the side play. But you could basically cut that out, out with a craft knife if you want to. I'm going to design up a part and link it down below to my Thingiverse. So if you have a 3D printer, you can print that out too. So let's go ahead and unbox this joystick and then I'll get to designing the part once I can see the joystick and measure everything of what I'm going to need. And also you're only going to need one of these hand grips. Now uh, one of them is going to be a larger diameter inside and one's going to be smaller. The one you're going to use is the smaller diameter one on the inside. Alright so I'm going to take this out of the box and see what we have here and then I'll measure up the plate that we're going to need. Instruction booklet, don't really need that. We're not really going to be using this for its intended purpose. We're just going to make it a one function device. And there's nothing really in the box except the joystick. It's actually a pretty decent joystick. I guess it's got pretty good reviews on Amazon. But see how we've got all this side to side play? We just want this. We just want to be able to go. Shh. Just like that and it's pretty basic it doesn't feel as weighted as, as I thought it would be but I, I would almost bet there's room inside of here in this side of this base that we could uh, add some weight if we wanted to so stay tuned I'm going to take this apart and show you what wires we need to disconnect because we're not going to have any of the buttons at the top and we're going to basically get rid of all of this all right so the first thing we'll do to disassemble is there's four screws in the side here so I'm going to go ahead and take all four of them out Alright, so we've got all four of them screws out, and I basically just took uh, two of the screws on the inside to take the little circuit board out, and now we're just left with this. So next, we need to take off the bottom. Alright, so now our base plate is out, and you can see what we have in here. So I'm going to take this out to the garage and show you guys what to desolder. Alright, so now I've made it out to the garage. I've got my soldering station plugged in. I'm ready to desolder some of these wires on here. Now you don't have to desolder these if you don't want to. I'm just going to do it because it's kind of, I just want to make it nicer, not just wires dangling in here. Uh, basically if you don't want to desolder these, just clip them here or clip them inside of here on the bottom and uh, tape them off so they don't touch nothing. And you really shouldn't have to uh, desolder anything. But if you're like me and you want to uh, make it pretty decent, you're going to want to desolder a few things. So without taking this board out, you can, but you're going to have to hot glue it back in. And there's no reason because I can reach down and desolder these. So on the top here, uh, there's five joints here of solder. You're going to desolder all of those and pull those out because we're just taking all the wires out that are connected to the joystick. And then on the inside, on the bottom, there are four more in here, way down on the inside down here that need desoldered. And they connect from the backside. So basically just... Uh, 
look at the colors of wires and follow them in and desolder them. Basically, you're not going to touch anything on this side, and you're not going to touch anything on this side. It's all the two right straight down in the middle that you're going to desolder. So five on top, four straight down on the bottom. So we should have a total of nine wires when we count these out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wires. Um, you could always solder them back in if you decided you didn't want the handbrake anymore, but these are only $20, so that's basically why I'm doing it. They're just, they're just cheap, so... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and desolder this, so uh, stay tuned. Alright, there's the top five wires. So now we're going to move everything out of the way and move down to the bottom. There we go, that should be all our wires. So now just pull this straight out, out of the top. And... Uh, might have a snug fit because there's like a little band on here. Let's take that off and we should be able to pull them straight out. There we go. So we should just be left with this nine wires on there. And that's it. So uh, now as long as you didn't mess up any of your other wires or pull anything out, we're going to take this back in and uh, fix up our, our joystick. All right. So now what we're left with is the base minus the wires coming out of the handle. They've been desoldered and of course our USB cable. The bottom plate and a stack of screws. That's all we're going to need, except for our plastic and our uh, motorcycle hand grip. Uh, so next, I'm going to go ahead and take some measurements because what we're going to be doing is see this whole round spot right here. We're going to be making a plate for that, and we're going to put. Uh, you can put just two screws in it to hold it, or you can put all four. I'm going to do it all up and uh, put four screws in it, and then we're just going to have the little cutout plate to allow this stick to go front, back, just like that. And it's got some good resistance on it, so it'll it should feel pretty decent. It's not going to feel like a full-on spring handbrake with a you know a full throw on it or anything, but it's it's going to feel decent for a PC sim. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and measure this up and kind of design a part online. It's not going to be much design because it's just a flat piece with four screw holes in it, but uh, it should be pretty simple. So if you're not doing this part and you're just cutting your own piece out, go ahead and, I guess, measure it on your own or maybe look below and I might have some measurements for you. If you're printing it out, you can go ahead and click the link below and at least start printing it and uh, we'll have a piece made up before we know it. Alright guys, I think I have the final plate made. So after just a little bit of time, the design program, we have a pretty good object here. We've got four bolt holes for our hex head screws to screw into that we will have to drill the plastic on the the base of the joystick for these holes but then uh, it should just thread right in. Uh, we've got the square cutout or the rectangle cutout plate for the handbrake to move from its normal position here to back here to full lock and then the forward to release. And here's how the printer is going to build it. There's going to be 13 layers. There's layer 1 all the way up to layer 13 just like that. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get that printed out so stay tuned. Alright, so here's the printer starting out. It's going to start printing our piece here. Alright guys, so I have popped our piece off the build plate. This is uh, what I just printed on the 3D printer. Uh, basically this is going to, of course the Thrustmaster logo is in the front, so all we're wanting this joystick to do is just from dead centered, down, back, down, back. So that's all we want, so that's why our rectangle is off centered and down on here. So what's going to happen is this plate just needs to sit right on top of here. And we'll drill four holes in the actual base and bolt this down uh, once we get it done, get ready to. But basically that's just going to go just like that. Of course it won't move once it's bolted down, but we'll just, the joystick will just go boom, boom, handbrake off, handbrake on, off, on, off, on. And that's basically it. So what I'm going to do now is go to the garage. I forgot to mention we need to break off these two tabs on the joystick here. So I'm going to go to the garage, 
uh, use some pliers and just pry them off. Either that or a little hacksaw will work. Uh, but I'm probably just going to pry them off. And while I'm out there doing that, I'm going to take my piece that I printed and put it on here. And I'm going to mark the four holes here. And then I'm going to drill them out out there and put some cap screws in. Alright, so now you can see I've got my four holes drilled. One, two, three, and four to match up with my plate. I used a 332nd drill bit with the cap screws that I have. So uh, if you happen to have just small cap screws, I've got a ton of them. And these cap screws are 2.5 millimeter cap screws. I'm not sure of the thread pitch or anything, but they're just small 2.5 millimeter cap screws. All right, so I'm going to screw all this in and show you what all it right, looks like. So I've got the four screws in and the plate mounted. So now our stick just goes like this. No side to side, no forward action. Just, just like that. That's all we wanted. And uh, basically these screws just threaded right into the plastic because my 332nd bit was just a little bit smaller diameter than the threading on these 2.5 millimeter uh, cap screws. So, uh, and you don't need very long ones. I don't know if I showed you that, but they're not, they're not very long. Just enough to go through this piece and through the bottom. But depending on what you use for this base plate, will tell you how long of these screws you need. But there is a little bit of room inside here. Uh, I also went ahead and cut these tabs off that were on the top of this joystick. I was going to use uh, pliers or something to break them off or a hacksaw. But I went ahead and used my craft plate and just pushed down without my fingers below it. And it just I cut everything straight off. So it doesn't need to be smooth or anything, so it can have some rough edges because it's all just going to be molded with plastic over it. And then our stick like this is going to be on top. But basically that's all we wanted was this joystick here just to move this way, not left, right, or up. So just down. That's it. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and go get the plastic ready. Uh, there's a little bit of instruction to this, so you might want to follow it pretty well. But basically, my instructions, it'll be different if you get a different product. But you can see here, it is uh, heat the water to 150 Fahrenheit using the microwave or the stove, blah, blah, blah. Then you put the plastic in it, let it get uh, soft, and then you can take it out and start molding it. But we're basically going get to the, get the plastic ready and roll it into a sort of a sausage shape. That way we can shove it inside of our, uh, our grip here. All right, so I think we should be ready. I don't know how much how much uh, pellet I'm gonna need, but I've got a bowl of quite hot. I, I just can't. I can put my finger in it, but not quite hold it in there. So I don't know the exact temperature. I don't have a thermometer, but uh, basically you just needed 150 plus to melt it. So I'm sure it's more than that because it was almost boiling. And if it says if it's boiling, to let it cool a little bit. So I need to pour the desired amount of pellets in here, but not knowing. How much I need I'm gonna probably put a little bit extra okay so now it says they're gonna all clump together which they are so I'm gonna let them sit it says to remove them with the tongs and they're, and they're gonna turn clear so right now they're turning clear so I'm gonna move that just a little bit put my plate here and uh, I'm gonna get some tongs Hopefully the wife doesn't come in and see me using her tongs on uh, stuff like this, but uh, should be okay. So you can see now it's uh, doing pretty good in there. It's definitely hot enough because it, it turned clear like it said. So we need to remove them and shake off the excess hot water, wear gloves. We're not going to do that to avoid burns. If we get a burn, then uh, I don't know. Take care of the hot plastic. It does not stick to things you don't want it to, such as fingernails, polish, fabric. Uh, metal. I might need gloves if it's going to stick to fingernails. Let me see if I got some down here. Alright, I stole some of the wife's cleaning gloves from under the sink there. So we might still get burned because you know these ain't going to prevent heat. At least it's not going to stick to us. All right, so now we're going to want to roll it in a sausage shape and put it inside of here. So we need it smaller than a sausage shape to fit in here, all the way in there. Oh yeah, we need tongs for that possibly. All right. So everything went together. There's no beads just laying out anywhere in here. So that's good. 
All right, so everything's working pretty good right now. Kind of move all this out of the way. You can see it. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I think we actually got too much. I'm going to pull some of this away. All right, so we need a sausage shape, which would be just like this. Still too long. So, yeah, I put quite a bit too much. But the good thing is you can remelt all of this. So if you mess up, don't worry. Everything's still reusable. So we're just going to make it small enough to insert it. Lots of innuendos coming out in these comments, guys. So feel free to uh, post all that down below. Any comments you got. Alright, so uh, now I think we're ready. I'm going to put this back in here in case I mess up. But I don't think it's going to matter. Okay, so now we've got this with a little bit sticking out. So what we want to do now is just cram this right down onto there. I can already see there's probably going to be a bit much. All right, so I'm going to move it all to the back. That way it doesn't, because we want it not to hit in the front here. can kind of flip it out of the way because when it dries I'll probably uh, get rid of it. Alright, everything looks pretty straight. Just kind of center it straight up and down and everything. And uh, should be good after that. I'll try to move this from the front where it's going to hit because we don't want to have any any stoppage or anything. I'm going to try to move it up from the bottom too and push it up because it kind of went down on the shaft a little bit. Man, you guys better be posting some funny comments down there about this, I swear. Alright, so now we got a little tag hanging out that we'll uh, cut off when everything's said and done. Alright, so we're going to let that cool. Apparently my wife wants the rest of these to play with. Since I won't be using them all. But yeah, so you can uh, see there I've got a little bit sticking out of the end. That's just the extra. Like I said guys, I, I wanted to get it out of the way. So now you can see it's up all the way from the bottom. That way when the joystick comes forward, it's not the, the new plastic isn't going to hit this and, and stop anything. So I can still feel it's just a bit soft, so we're going to let it harden about another 5 or 10 minutes. And then uh, we'll cut that off and we'll plug it in. It should be ready to go. Alright, so we're going we're gonna to rip this uh, BMW E30. And we should have everything set up now. So we got our handbrake ready to go. <laughs> so there, it absolutely locks up the rear. Insane. Alright guys, so I tried our Settle Corsa with this and it worked great, but I'm going to try it with dirt, dirt Rally as well. I'm no good at drifting in either game or driving in either game, um, but we're just going to check out the handbrake. Right, four times to three, into immediate turn square right, don't cut, and then late don't cut, 80. Right, six through dip, crest. Alright. <laughs> well, it works definitely. I'll show you sliding around this corner here. So here's nothing. And right here's five, a handbrake. 
so you can see that it helps you turn better and everything like it's you can't drive a rally car without a handbrake you just can't you don't you got to be able to slide around some of these corners and that's what this is going to help me do um but yeah it works great just you know you don't you don't really need a lot of motion from the handbrake so if it does bump at the bottom a little bit it's not a big deal because you're just wanting it on and off on and off you know there's not a lot of stuff that you need to just full-on handbrake you know but basically that's it guys i mean it it pretty much plugs in you don't have to install anything and this is on here man it's 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 solid it's not flimsy or nothing the only thing i'm a little disappointed about is the base of this needs some more weight in it and there is room in here so i'm probably going to get a bunch of pennies and like hot glue them in there and like really just weigh this thing down the best i can uh either that or i've got to get some kind of suction cups or something which probably isn't going to be ideal but uh, i'll probably just end up trying to weight it down but there you go guys Thrustmaster handbrake and i'm probably going to have to move it a little bit closer because normally you have your handbrake right next to your steering wheel but once i get my sim stand i'll be able to move things around a little bit better because right now everything's bolted to my desk which is fine but it's just not not a great location for anything uh, so anyway guys thanks for watching i appreciate it comment down below if you've got any questions i'll have the links down below for the for the 3d file for the stl if you want to print this little piece out to bolt on i'll have all the links for the amazon where i got everything and i appreciate everybody watching have a good one